Good day, grade 11s. Welcome to your next lesson in week number 11. We're carrying on with the idea of an equation of a line going through a point, but this time it's going to be perpendicular to another line. So what is special about perpendicular lines? We taught you this earlier. A perpendicular line, if you've got two lines, so this is line 1, for example, with a gradient of 1, and this is line 2, which is supposedly perpendicular, okay with a gradient m2 what do we know about these gradients what you guys should know by now is that the gradient 1 multiplied with the gradient of the second one is equal to minus 1 or another way of putting it is that m1 is equal to minus 1 over m2 right so that's what we're going to be using in this set of notes we're going to be going and looking for the equation of a line going through a point and the other line is going to be perpendicular so let's look at an example so first of all it says find the equation of the line perpendicular to 2y plus 3x is equal to 2 and passing through 3 equals minus 2. So the first thing is always grade 11s, what do we do? We get this into the standard form. And I know, uh, yes, you're bored, but y is equal to mx plus c is the standard form. Grade 11s, you need to know that in your sleep. So let's get this into your standard form. So we've got 2y is equal to minus 3x plus 2. We're going to divide both sides by 2 to get rid of this coefficient of 2. So y is equal to minus 3 over 2, x plus 2 divided by 2. Therefore y is equal to minus 3 over 2, x plus 1. So now what we're saying is that, and again I'm going to try a very rough drawing. That's x and that's y. And we've got that this is going through plus 1 plus 1 and it's going like this. Now they say, so this is that equation there, y is equal to minus 3 over 2x plus 1. Now they say we've got another point, 3 minus 2, so let's just put this over here, where x is 3, 1, 2, 3, more or less 1, 2, 3, and y is minus 2. So we've got this point here, which is 3 minus 2. But this time they say there is a line that is going perpendicular. This point is going through a line that is perpendicular to your blue line, to the minus 3 over 2x plus 1. And they want the equation of this green line. So now, what do we know? We know that m1 times m2 is equal to minus 1. So if m1 is the gradient that we know already, which is minus 3 over 2, times by m2 has to equal to minus 1, then do you agree that m2 is going to be equal to minus 1 divided by minus 3 over 2? Therefore, what do we do when we divide? We tip in times, so it becomes minus 1 times by minus 2 over 3, so that becomes just 2 over 3. So therefore we know the gradient of the green line is going to be 2 over 3. Grade 11s, after a while you'll realize that all you need to do with these is just swap them over and put a minus in front. So in other words, it would become 2 over 3 and then you multiply this by minus. But if you're not sure how to do it, do it slowly. It's always better if you get the right thing. Okay, so now what have we got? We've got y is equal to 2 over 3x plus c, but we have a point 3 and minus 2, so we're going to substitute that in. So we've got minus 2 is equal to 2 over 3 times by 3 plus c. These 3's cancel, life is good. So we've got minus 2 is equal to 2 plus c, so c is going to equal to minus 4, which means that if I carry this line on, that would equal minus 4, that point there. So my final equation of my new line is y is equal to 2 over 3x minus 4. Right, great, 11 is not that difficult. Hey, let's do another example. So it says determine the equation of the line but passes through the point 4 minus 2, but this time it's perpendicular to the line y is equal to minus 2x plus 1. So again, what are we going to do? We're going to solve this 
for y. We're going to make y the subject of the formula. So we go y is equal to, and we're just taking it to the other side again, so it becomes 2x minus 1. 2x minus 1, so if I draw this again, we've got that it's going through minus 1, and it happens to be a graph that looks not like that at all, because that looks a little bit like a sine wave. Okay, let's try again. It's going to go straight across. There we go. So that there is going to be the equation of y is equal to 2x minus 1. So now they tell us we've got a point. We've got a point and the point is 4 minus 2. So when x is 4, y is minus 2, we've got this point here, 4 minus 2. And they tell us we've got a line that is perpendicular to this going through this. Now I don't know where it's going to get the y-axis, I'm just drawing this rough, okay? But the most important thing is that this is perpendicular. So what does that mean? That means that this gradient, we've got m1 times by m2 is equal to minus 1. And this gradient, the gradient in my first line is 2. So we've got 2 times m2 is equal to minus 1. Therefore, the gradient of my new perpendicular line is going to be minus a half. It's going to be minus a half. So then we just substitute into our standard form. We've got y is equal to mx plus c. Your m is going to be minus a half. So it's minus a half x plus your c. But we don't know what the c is yet, but we've got these points. We've got x is 4 and y is minus 2. So I'm going to substitute into the air. I've got minus 2 is minus a half times by 4 plus c. So I'm going to carry on here. We've got minus 2 is equal to minus times the plus remains a minus. And remember that this is a half times by 4 over 1 plus c. So we can cancel these and it becomes a 2. So we've got minus 2 is equal to minus times a minus is still minus, minus times plus and that becomes just 2 plus c. So that becomes minus 2 plus 2 is equal to c. So c is actually equal to 0. So this line should have been cutting across over here. So if I had to redraw it, it would probably have been going through like that. Okay, but remember this was just a rough sketch to give us an idea of what we were looking at. So therefore the equation of my new blue line is y is equal to minus a half x and that's it, nothing else. Right, grade 11s, now you know how to do equations of lines which are perpendicular to each other. Please make sure you know how to do this and you know your formula for perpendicular lines and then go practice, practice, practice. Have a lovely day. Thank <music> you.